Mr. Karenga is founder and chairman of a group called US. Define US. US means black people, the 49 million black people in this country. And that's why we call it US because it's both personal and collective. It is a very personal thing to us and yet it's a very collective thing to us. We're you black nationalist cultural organization. You say 49 million that's black right. people. What do, you, what do you mean 49 million? Well, it's 49 million. Uh, uh, Is that the consensus, figure now? That's the one we use, you see. We're talking from two different sets of notes. Yes, uh, I, I was, uh, I was uh, under the impression that it was somewhere around. Did you, did you say something uh, fascinating? Uh, did I miss something? It's something very profound. That's perhaps why you... That's why I missed Ran it. over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, you I'm see, if you're dealing the superficial rather than the profound, you always skip. Oh, we're starting again, are we? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you ask him what he just said, he doesn't know either. Oh, I'm afraid you can't speak for me since I speak so well for myself. I don't know that you do. <laughs> <laughs> Is this funny? Watch, watch when he hiccups. They really applaud. Yeah. You should now, try to stick with something of substance. Comedy is usually referred to as you. Yeah, but when I got a straight man like you, I can't miss. <clears throat> now, I want to ask you in the, in the article, I think that they wrongfully said that you're a member of the Black Panthers. You are not, are you? No, I'm not. Uh -huh. I'm black nationalist. I understand that they have misspelled your first name on the, uh, on the superimposed uh, lettering. So do you want to spell it? M-A-U-L-A-N-A. Uh, when did you uh, acquire this new name? Well, uh, my organization gave it to me. Just lately? Because no, the last time you lately. were here, you were only Karenga. You had no. Well, I name. told you that because I knew you'd have trouble pronouncing the then other. The, then the time before, the time before you were Ron Karenga, then you, you well, didn't want to be called Ron anymore. No, I didn't because you don't know me that well to be that familiar with me to call me my first name. <laughs> I don't know. You've been here enough now. I know you pretty well by now. I guess you've no, been you here. Don't. You've I'm, been here about five uh, or six times. You can talk to me. You know my ability in terms of being able to defeat you conversationally, but you don't know me in terms of my status. So then, what you have to do is deal with me on a professional level rather than a personal one. Is that what it is? <laughs> you know. I, I think probably the reason why you've been back so many times is because uh, you're actually amusing. I mean, people uh, sometimes... Uh, I'm very witty, if that's what you mean. No, you're not witty, exactly. You're forcing me to be modest. You don't but know you, what is wit. What you do is, is you, bring a, you bring a what large group of people with you. And, oh, uh, please, you said even that if you before. Cough, then the white people, gonna break then the white the people, Then the white people started clapping and you didn't know what to say. You said that before. Well, how can you see you their color uh, with the lights and everything? That's more than I can do. Well, there are other ways to detect Why do you them. wear dark glasses at this time? Is there any particular reason why you're That's wearing That's a them? personal preference. Why do you part your hair and shave it to the side and comb it to the side? Why well, do you I mean, wear that no, jacket? That got I would never with, wear that. What's it got to do with wearing glasses? <laughs> it's all a, you would never wear what? I would never wear that blue coat. You would well, never let's wear talk a blue about coat. You walk around issues. in pajamas. Why wouldn't you wear no, a blue please, coat? Please, you don't know that. Huh? You're being pathetic, and that's falling from uh -huh. the sublime.